Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminal Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Um, today, who knows, it's another random what's lurking on my Kindle video. Okay, so this is a concept that was come up with by Michael K. Vaughan, who originally did the what's lurking on my Kindle video. Um, Steve Donahue then um, kind of tweaked it and made it into a tag um, and I've done I think I've done a couple of these before so it's Wednesday normally I would do a library tour video on a Wednesday um, but because we're having work done on the house the attic is just a nightmare and I can't really I can't easily get to my books um, so I'm going to do a, um, a what's on my Kindle video instead so normal format for these things I will scroll without looking through my Kindle app on my iPad, um, stop it randomly, um, and then talk about whatever book I turn up. Okay, let's get going with book number one. And it is a book I know nothing about. It's called We All Fall Down, and it's by Daniel uh, Carla. Apparently, it's a gripping, addictive page turner um, from 2019. Um, it sounds quite good actually. Let me read you the blurb. Um, Today it's the coronavirus, once it was the Black Death, a disease that wiped out millions of people. And if the plague were, returned, uh, were to return to the world now, billions would die. Um, it starts with one patient. A woman is dying in an Italian hospital, coughing up blood, convulsing, barely conscious. Uh, before it spreads to the town, Dr Alan Vaughan, an expert from NATO, confirms everyone's worst fears. The woman has the I didn't read that very well at all, did I? The woman has the highly infectious disease that swept through Europe 800 years ago, the Black Death. Um, I'll, I'll stop it there, but this sounds quite fun. It looks to me like it may be an Italian book that's been translated into English. Oh no, he's, he's Canadian. Um, okay, so it's a, a plague thriller. So that, that actually looks quite entertaining. I quite like things like that. Right, and here is the cover for We All Fall Down. So it does look like an entertaining um kind of bio thriller um right okay book number two is please. yes please by uh amy pola if that's how you pronounce her name poella poella i don't know i'm sure someone in the comments can tell me how to pronounce her name i've got no idea but she's the one who's in parks and rec um so i read this a few years ago i quite like this kind of showbiz memoir you know comic showbiz memoir type thing um i seem to remember it was quite entertaining it, it wasn't amazing but it was uh it was pretty good um okay book number three is the odessa file by frederick forsyth so i've never read this um and in fact i haven't read much frederick forsyth um at all so Obviously, he's very well known, so there's the cover. So this is from, I think, the 70s originally. Um, let me read you the blurb. Um, it's 1963 and a young German reporter has been assigned the suicide of a Holocaust survivor. The news story seems straightforward. This is a tragic insight into one man's suffering, but a long hidden secret is discovered in the pages of the dead man's diary. What follows is the life and death hunt for a notorious former concentration camp commander a man responsible for the deaths of thousands, a man as yet unpunished. So that sounds quite good. And and obviously Frederick Forsyth is best known for having written The Day of the Jackal, which, you know, was very famously filmed. I have only read a couple of things by him and they were both more recent things, which I didn't think were terribly good, to be honest with you. The one I read most recently was The Fox, which I thought was pretty awful, um, which was sort of a an, an espionage thriller um that was trying to like draw on cyberspace and things like that, um, but just did really didn't work very well. Um, so yeah, I think his classic stuff like the Day of the Jackal, which I think I've also got somewhere on my Kindle, um, and this are supposed to be pretty good. So maybe I will give that a try at some point. Okay, what are we on to now? Book number four. Okay, book number four is oh another book I've read, Flashman by George MacDonald Fraser. Right, so there is the cover. Um, so these are fantastically entertaining. So I've read a few of these books. So they are, I can't remember when they were written in the, uh, I think he probably started writing them in the 60s. Yeah, so this is from 69. Um, so they are kind of comic historical adventures um, about this guy, Flashman, 
who's basically a, a coward and, and a bit of a scoundrel, um, but somehow always manages to come up on top and always comes out smelling of roses. Um, so yeah, they are they are very entertaining books, quite bawdy, um, but yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. And George MacDonald Fraser, um, for um, movie fans, he wrote the screenplay for Red Sonja, the Bridget Nielsen, Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of Conan spin-off movie. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a, a Robert E. Howard connection there for uh, for Michael K. Vaughan if he's watching. Right, next up is uh, another book I've read. Um, so Hollywood Station by Joseph Warmbaugh. Um, again, I may be mispronouncing his name. Right, let me get you the cover for this one. So this is a uh, kind of detective cop novel um, set in Los Angeles, um, which I seem to remember was pretty good. I think if I remember rightly, it had a bit of an ensemble cast um, and definitely had some cops who were pretty shady in it. Um, I can't remember exactly what the plot was, but I do remember it was quite gripping and quite exciting. Um, so Walmore obviously is, you know, very famous for having um, written some books which are considered to be very true to life. Um, he was, I think, I can't remember if he was actually a cop or if he was just, oh yeah, he was, yeah. So a former LAPD detective. Um, so his most famous books were The New Centurions, The Choir Boys and The Onion Field, which I haven't read. Um, but which are, you know, well thought of. This is a, a more recent book by him. Um, but yeah, one that I did quite enjoy. OK, right, on to book number six. And that is going to be uh, The Big Sleep and Other Novels by Raymond Chandler. So I've read The Big Sleep, but I haven't read the other two books in this. So oh, it doesn't have a nice cover, but there you go. There's the, the cover. So this is an omnibus, omnibus edition from Penguin um, that's got The Big Sleep, Farewell My Lovely and The Long Goodbye. So three of the... Um, of the Philip Marlowe novels by Raymond Chandler. So as I say, I've read I've read the Big Seat, which is which is great, um, and I definitely need to read the others. I think I've got another um, collection by him as well, which has the rest of the Marlowe novels, so like, like Lady in the Lake and things like that. Um, so I do need to work my my way through the series at some point, but certainly um, the Big Sleep was excellent. So you know, classic noirish detective fiction, um, you know, rightly considered to be one of the greats. Um, Right, that was book number six. Let us continue. I'm going to go up to ten books this time. Oh, OK. Wow, I didn't even know I had this. OK, so this is um, Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. So this is a, 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 a mammoth um, and, you know, people probably know it's a, um, a book that some people love and some people hate. So a, a kind of a, a giant of modern literature, both in terms of page count um, and... Uh, its reputation as well. So I had for many years a um, a paperback copy of this, which I tried to read and got about fifty pages into, but never never actually managed to finish. Right, let's move on. So this will be book eight. Okay, here we go. It is and it's one I haven't read. A thriller, um, Black Sun by Owen Matthews. Right, so let me read you the description of this one, um, and then I'll show you the cover. So, 1961, hidden deep within Soviet uh, Russia is a place that doesn't appear on any map. A city called Arzamas 16, where dedicated scientists and technicians are building the most powerful nuclear device the world has ever seen. 3,000 times more powerful than Hiroshima. Um, but days before the bomb is to be tested, a young physicist is found dead. His body contains radioactive uh, enough radioactive poison to kill thousands. The authorities believe it is suicide. They want the corpse disposed of, the incident filed and forgotten. But Moscow is alarmed by what's going on in this strange, isolated place. And so KGB Major Alexander Vasin is sent to Arzamas to investigate. What he finds there is unlike anything he's experienced before. His wits will be tested against some of the Soviet Union's most brilliant minds, eccentrics, patriots and dissidents, who, because their work is considered to be of such vital importance, have been granted the freedom to think and act, live and love as they wish. For in Arzamas, nothing can be allowed to get in the way of the project, not even murder. Um, so this sounds quite fun. Um, it, it looks like it's got, it's one of those books that's got lots of reader reviews, um, but not many um, reviews from actual publications. Although there are some on the cover, actually. Um, and apparently it's based on a true story. In a secret city in Soviet Russia, they created Armageddon. Um, so, yeah, that looks like an, an enjoyable uh, kind of dad type of a book. 
Um, I think my dad would enjoy that, and I think I, as a dad, would probably quite enjoy that too. Um, okay, so uh, I think that was book eight. Yep. Right. Let's do two more. So we have got 1984 uh, by George Orwell. So a very famous book. I have read this, um, but not since I got this copy. Plague by Visions um, and people on his Discord recently did a, a read along of this, um, or a buddy read of this, and I thought I didn't have a copy um, because when I was searching for it on my Kindle, I was searching with the numbers 1984, and, and ridiculously, it didn't come up. Um, but then I was reading some George Orwell a while ago and searched for Orwell and saw that actually I did have it. But by then they'd finished the, the read through. So I didn't bother. Um, I didn't bother then reading it and joining in. But as I say, I read this years ago. I think I might even have read it in 1984. Um, so there's the cover, the, the not terribly interesting, I have to say, cover of this Penguin edition. Um, so, yeah. It, it's an absolute classic and I do need to read it again and a very horrifying book from uh, from what I remember. Um, so yeah, one I'd like to reread at some point, especially having read some of um, Orwell's other books recently. So I read Animal Farm and Hobbish Catalonian recently, both of which I very much enjoyed. Um, right, that was book nine. So this is book 10, the final book of today's What's on My Kindle. Um, oh, okay. So I've read some of this but not all of it so this is uh, the complete short stories volume one um by roald dahl so there we go there is the cover um so i've got a few different roald dahl short story collections um on my kindle i need to go through them and figure out which ones i've read because i think i've read quite a lot of his short stories but in paperbacks that i got out of the library um and i think these newer collections which i've got probably collect the stories in different orders and you know different stories are in different books so I've got yeah three or four other short story collections by him as well so I need to work through them all and figure out which stories I've read and which ones I haven't um, and then I can read the ones that I haven't but if you've not read Roald Dahl's short stories um, and you like you know the dark side of literature then you definitely need to read them um, you know his children's work is what he's best known for and, and you know his children's books are fantastic um, but his his Adult short fiction is just brilliant as well. Really dark, twisted horror stories, often with a, a Twilight Zone style twist at the end. Um, but yeah, really imaginatively nasty. Um, and you know, they 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 showcase that same kind of um, macabre and grotesque genius that you see in his in his children's books. So yeah, definitely worth reading. Um, Right, so that was a quick whiz through some of the books on my Kindle. There are over 2,000 of them, so that was just a few. Um, I'll probably do, I might do another one of these next week because I think my um, my attic situation is going to be similar. Um, so I won't be able to get a box of paper books down. So look out for another one of these next week. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you enjoyed it. If you've read any of these books or other books by the same authors, um, then do let me know. Um, but yeah, aside from that, take care. Hope you're safe and well, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.